Hey guys, Perugio here and in this video we're going to create these two landing UIs in Figma. Now, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in the world of UI UX design and I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years now and I'm basically sharing all of the tips and advice which I wanted to receive when I first started out so that you can save potentially months and years of time and as well also sort files from these uh, Figma tutorials. So feel free to check it out. Now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so we just opened a new Figma document and we're going to rename this to website. We're also going to change the background color to make it a little bit lighter and more towards a blue tint, just so we can get in the mood easier. So we're going to also select the frame tool, select desktop 1440 pixels, and let's rename this one as well by double clicking on it. And uh, we're going to get started and add the top level menu. And uh, even before that, we're going to add the logo. So let's increase the size of the logo and let's change this to Lato, which is a free Google web font. So simply go on Google and search for Lato font or something around those lines. And you're going to find the font right away. So let's make it just a little bit smaller and now let's duplicate it by using Command C and Command V. As you can see, we created another uh, duplicated version. Now this is going to serve us for the top level menu. So let's decrease the size of this element. Let's bring it right here. And we're going to duplicate it a few times by holding Shift and the Option key. And as you can see, we can create a duplicate and uh, this is usually used by using the option key and uh, the shift is essentially going to duplicate it around around the same horizontal line. So we can do that uh, one more time. We can also use command D in order to repeat uh, the action. So that's something which can come in really handy. So let's add some menu items right here. This one is going to be contact us and to be sure that the uh, horizontal spacing is the same we're going to use the distribute horizontal spacing we're going to group it all together by using command plus g and center all of this uh, uh, together so let's go ahead let's uh, copy and paste uh, one of these elements one more time because we're going to create uh, a call to action button which is going to be the get started so let's uh, add a rectangle let's bring it uh, over here more or less and let's change the color of the rectangle to black and uh, the text of course is going to be in white now let's probably go and uh, round it up quite a bit so we can round the corners from here and now it's time to add a headline so this is going to be a tech revolution and let's go ahead and let's increase the size of this bad boy right here which is going to be the top level heading um, so let's write over here um, a new technology in SAS and let's decrease the size of it quite a bit and let's go ahead and let's center it and what we're gonna do is we're going to change the style of this to make it a little bit more pronounced so we're going to use all caps we're also going to decrease the size little bit more and we're also going to increase the letter spacing so that we can have that uh, a, a different feeling uh, which uh, differentiates visually from uh, the top level headline let's also use command b in order to make this text smaller and we want all of the um, emphasis on tech revolution so that's that and uh, now it's time uh, to actually go ahead and uh, grab one of the uh, free elements which uh, we're going to have based on uh, a pack which I just downloaded from uh, UI8. So as you can see, we have the Figma file, so I'm going to drag and drop it and you're gonna see me in one second. 
All right, so we are in Black Panam, the product from UI8, and we're going to select one of these beautiful 3D illustrations. And by the way, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this as it looks really, really cool. And we're probably going to go with either the MacBooks or one of these iPhones. We're just going to uh, click on a few, uh, copy and paste them directly into the uh, Figma artboard. So as you can see, they're quite big. So I purposely copied them outside of the actual artboard. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to just resize them and we can uh, essentially enlarge them without uh, losing any resolution also afterwards. So that's totally cool. And uh, as you can see, we have, uh, we're really um, <laughs> bringing this uh, to the next level with this uh, cool illustration. I think it, we need to like just rotate it just a little bit. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to actually bring this to the very bottom and we're going to add uh, a section here. So I'm going to um, go ahead uh, over here, copy these two elements, paste them, group them all together. We're going to create uh, a input field so that uh, they can enter the email and uh, give us uh, their email. So let's go ahead and uh, this right here, enter your, or actually enter email. Let's keep it uh, um, short and sweet. We're going to basically reduce uh, the, um, or actually make the fill white and we're going to add a dark stroke around it. And let's reduce uh, the opacity on this uh, fill. So we're gonna do it uh, manually by changing the color and uh, let's make this one regular. And uh, there we go. All right, let's bring it next to the get started button and let's group and center all of this together. Let's make also the stroke 1.5 and use the same color as we have uh, over here for the stroke. All right, so we'll use the eye color picker and uh, there we go, we have our nice uh, um, illustration and uh, we can also make this one uh, bigger, maybe you can span all the way uh, right here in order to add some more visual emphasis uh, to the composition. Now, what we want to try now is a dark version since uh, I think these illustrations really suit uh, a, uh, are really suitable for a darker version. So we're going to select all the text, make it white. This one's going to be inverted. So we're going to have uh, black text uh, and uh, white uh, um, and basically the white button color. And uh, let's go ahead uh, over here and let's uh, make all of this white or actually <laughs> dark. And uh, what we want to try though is to add a linear gradient. So I don't want it to be completely um, without, uh, without the gradient. So let's try maybe something around these lines could be Quite interesting and we can even go with uh, something a bit more over the top uh, such uh, as uh, a blue and uh, let's just change the color over here let's try and for example make this one uh, a sort of a yellowish tint as you can see we can create uh, a different look uh, by just uh, inverting the colors uh, that's a technique that we can use uh, uh, sparingly, but definitely it can definitely help. Now we're also going to add a drop shadow in order to basically increase uh, the depth effect that's going on over here. We're going to try and use a drop shadow, which is going to be, we can also add a glow potentially, but probably we're just going to go with the drop shadow. Let's reduce the blur just a little bit. As you can see, we can create this uh, nice effect in a very short amount of time. Now we're also going to try a darker version. Instead of having it uh, um, like this, we're going to have uh, some sort of a darker feeling. And I like this uh, glow effect, uh, which is hinting towards a blue. 
we can potentially even have something like this, but more subtle. So as you can see, there's there's a bunch of things that we can do, guys, at this uh, at this moment with uh, the specific illustration, and uh, it's just a matter of experimenting and uh, trying and figuring out uh, what uh, you're interested in. And uh, of course, you know you can change this uh, to uh, one of these other illustrations, and uh, maybe you can you can give it a shot and also create uh, like different uh, compositions in between. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of room uh, for experimentation that uh, can go on. And uh, the important thing is really having those uh, base elements settled because after that, uh, it's uh, essentially going to be downhill from there. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I want to remind you that on my channel I have over 400 videos uh, like this and also sharing my over eight years of experience working in UI UX. So feel free to check it out if you're interested and I'll see you in the next video.